I normally don't like to make part 2s to these types of videos, but a lot of people have been commenting on the initial video, is emulation and piracy the same thing? Saying things like, consoles need exclusives to survive, so taking these games even years down the road is wrong. Playing a game that you didn't purchase regardless of the date is theft, and you said before that you don't condone piracy, and yet you're okay with emulation. You are a hypocrite, and I think all these statements and a lot more should be addressed. When it comes to emulation, this whole thing is a gray area. Sure, emulators aren't illegal, but distributing ROMs is. The whole question of should I emulate it and should I pirate it are two different questions that some may say are the exact same question, and I would like to posit my opinions on the matter as that's all I can really offer when it comes to this topic. I do not condone piracy. Piracy is scummy, terrible, and it's bad for the industry. The definition of piracy is the unauthorized use or reproduction of another's work, i.e. downloading a video game, programs, some music, or a movie without its purchase and even giving it to others, but piracy is not black and white. Because of the way today's industries are set up, piracy is very grey. Well, What do I mean by this? Well, Let's say that there's a song that you want to download. Someone tells you that you can buy it, but you won't be able to listen to it unless you download it onto an Apple device. Later down the road, someone takes that song, flips it, and makes it accessible on your preferred computer, except now, it's free. See, this is the kind of scummy business practice that makes things like this happen. Because I use, let's say, a Linux-based computer, I wasn't allowed to listen to the song. Now that the song was stolen, I can enjoy it, but I don't get to give money to the people who made the song. And there are two different ways to look at this. One. The developer never would have gotten my money anyway, I wasn't going to buy an Apple product just so I could listen to the song, so I missed out on it for no reason, or I'm a dirty filthy pirate and I should have been okay with the company locking the song away and never experiencing it. And the issue is, no matter what you do here, it's a shame on both sides. This is why it's a grey area. Is it really your fault that you didn't buy the song, or is it the company? Now of course music doesn't do anything this stupid, there's only one media that does, and it's video games, but I likened it to music to illustrate how illogical it would be for any other media to go about their business this way. However, when it comes to consoles, they actually need this for the longevity of said console's lifespan. So when it comes to this, here's how I take it. Let's say the Xbox Ultra comes out, and it has a lifespan of 5 years. For those 5 years, if an emulator on the PC came out, I would not indulge myself into the emulator. That is not in the grey for me. That is blatant piracy. However, after the lifespan of the console, and the new one is released, I would not feel bad about picking up the emulator depending on a few different things. One. There are no copies of the game that I can purchase from the developers anymore. See the cool thing about emulators these days, like the Simu emulator is if I bought the Wii U game from the store and then played it on my emulator instead of on the console, I'm not actually stealing. I'm playing the game on the platform of my choice and experiencing it the way that I would like to play it, which is exactly the way it should be. However, if the game no longer has any versions of it that I can purchase from the developer, I would not feel bad about using my emulator and the ROMs for free. It would be the exact same thing as buying the game from GameStop. None of that money would go to the developer anyway. So if I have no options for me, and I would like to play the game, then it should be something I have the right to do. And I'll get into that later as it still needs clearing up. So as far as taking games years down the road, when you emulate an SNES game, or a 64 game, or a PS2 game, do you feel bad about it? Now this is not a question that everyone will be able to answer the exact same way because your conscience is not the same as everyone else. If it bothers you, then the question doesn't matter. If it doesn't bother you, I'm going to ask why. For me, I'm not bothered, and this is mostly because the game is no longer purchasable from the developers, and the games would be forgotten without emulation. It's not like Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft emulate nearly to the extent that PCs do, and with that, they don't care if those games are forgotten, but we do. And not everybody is a collector, but we can still keep these games very much alive and even feeling fresh with new graphical enhancement mods and frame rate updates. Now some may say, well you're ruining the game doing that to it, and if so, why do you care if it's being pirated if it's not even the same game anymore? When it comes down to it, companies do not share the same feelings on video games that we do. When they make a video game and then make a new console, they don't worry about the game from the last console. Sure, there are some enhanced or remastered editions, but most of the time, the game is left to the past. But it's nice being able to scoop these games up. 
Now I stated before that this could be the developer's fault, or it could be us scummy gamers, and this is the grey area I was referring to. If someone came up to you and said, I'm going to make a game, but I'm going to restrict it to the PlayStation, would that feel okay? Well with the way the industry works right now, that's the norm. But because of this, one day we will be able to play that game for free and a lot of us would be wishing that we could have paid for the game. And then you guys get mad at us for just not forgetting the game existed and not playing it at all, or giving into the seductive trick and buying a console for that game. It's wrong that we're treated like that, especially when, like I said before, a lot of us would have loved to purchase the game. So you're wrong if you do it and wrong if you don't. And that is why emulation is something that you have to decide for yourself is wrong or not. The law can only tell you so much when combined with the scummy business practices set in motion by these dictatorial companies. There are two more topics that are in a gray area and I want to go over them real quick as they aren't really about emulation at all. Is it okay to pirate games that the developers obviously didn't care about? For example, Batman Arkham Knight. I would say no, that doesn't feel okay. Even taking Assassin's Creed Unity doesn't feel right, but that's just me. For you, it could easily be that they have proven to you that they don't care about you as a consumer, so why should you care about them as a business? And taking the game to play it for free may feel justified. I disagree. I don't feel very good about that. But then again, you won't see me buying Assassin's Creed or Arkham Knight, so maybe I'm screwing myself on an experience by not pirating the game or even just buying it. And the second one is games that are region locked. It doesn't happen as much, but there are still games that are region locked to Japan, or America, or anywhere else, and this is wrong. I hate this even more than I hate exclusives, because this is an exclusive that you can only have if you live in that particular country. A lot of developers will say that they region locked it because they didn't feel it was a game people in another country would play, or like and making the game would cost too much money than it's worth. But this is scummy business practice, and if you want that game, my opinion is that it would be an acceptable thing to pirate. And that is literally the only time I will say that, but then again, this is my opinion, and everyone has a different shade of grey when it comes to this. As I've said before, I hate piracy, and I hate being put in a situation like this. No games should be locked away, and I should never have to wish that I paid for the game that I want to emulate, but these companies bring it upon themselves. Granted, some do it because the pay is much better to make an exclusive, but you can't help but wish that it didn't have to be this way. I'm just glad that for the companies out there who do lock games away and expect them to die off without allowing a certain platform to experience them, there's a way to fight back. I hate anti-consumerism, and the fact that I can fight back in a small way, it feels nice. Microsoft recently started singing a different tune when it came to their exclusives, and that change is going to make them more money. Sure, some of us scumbag consumers will still try to steal their games, but for those of us out there who just want to exchange money for hard work, this is a step in the right direction. And who knows, maybe one day we won't need emulators anymore. All games will be accessible at the push of a button, the way it should be.